All right, now that we have the front hood on, we're going to go ahead and uh, put our front wheel on. Make sure that in your disc brake pads, they always put a little plastic sleeve in there to keep them from getting crimped during shipping. Take that out. First thing we want to do is take our bolt, our axle bolt that came out of it, the spacer, and the nut that came in the bag. We'll separate those. The easiest way to do these wheels is by starting the bolt on the brake side. And you don't want it to come all the way through, you just want it to set there so it's out of your way. So the bolt's sitting there. Then what we're going to do is take our spacer, put it in our disc brake side. That'll slide right down in the bottom of it. Now if you notice, it's got two little notches here on this side of the rim. I just want to show you that before I start putting it in. That's where we're going to put the two notches for our speedometer cable. We're just going to set that into there when we do our other side of the wheel. But I've got my spacer in and I'm ready to go ahead and put this wheel in. Just slide it back, make sure my disc brake goes in my disc brake pads. Kind of walk it up. Once I get it up, I'll go ahead and put my bolt through about midway point of the wheel. So that'll hold my wheel into place. Now what I want to do is go ahead and set my speedometer cable into my wheel. You can spin this with your fingers to get it closer. Once that's set in, you can move this front wheel in and just make sure that this little slot here gets put into the slot on the forks. So as I push this thing forward, I'm just going to make sure it's lined up. And you don't need to force this bolt, just play with it a little bit until it gets lined up. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that here. Now slide it up. Once it's started, just take a mallet and just tap it through. Right. Now it's through. Make sure you get some Loctite on it. Start your bolt. 11 sixteenths and your 14 millimeter just ration it down good. And that's your front wheel. Now we're going to go ahead and install the back rack. In order to install the back rack, there's four bolts that you need to put in. Two on this side, two on the opposite side. It's the Allen key bolts. There's two short ones, two long ones. What we're going to do is grab our back rack, set that in position. The two longer bolts will be used for the two front ones. The two shorter ones will be used for the rear ones. I'm just going to take a longer bolt, set it in and get it started. Take my back one. Get it started. Don't tighten any of these down until you get them all started and threaded. Go to the other side, do the same. Got them started, now I'm going to go ahead and just start ratcheting them down.
All right, we have our backrest on. The next step is to go ahead and just install your front mirrors. The front mirrors, you need a 14 millimeter ratchet. Your two mirrors that came out of the box. And a little bit of Loctite. Just make sure you screw this all the way up in order to have as much thread as possible. A little bit of Loctite goes on. I'm just going to hand turn them in. Don't try to force them in here. Just play with them until they start threading by themselves. And go ahead and tighten it down. We have that bar in the right position. We can go ahead and snug that bolt down with the 14 millimeter. And then your top bolt here, once you get your mirror in position where you want it, you can just snug this one down. Oops, and that's a 15 millimeter. Bottom's a 14, the top is a 15. 16. <laughs> so we're just going to snug this up. And again, I apologize, the top's a 16, the bottom's a 14. And that mirrors on. Same for the other side. Make sure you get a little bit of Loctite on my threads. We'll put this one on. Down with the 14. We top with the 16. Put our two rubber bushings down, cover them up. And that's the completed assembly of the Tau Tau CY50D.